Scott. It was a courtroom showdown between a youth home director accused of sexually assaulting four teenagers and the state that wants to take his eight kids away from him. Today, it led to the suspect's attorney to question the victims. 24 All News 8's Ken Calker was in the courtroom and he's in studio control now with more on this. Ken? Yeah, Brian, the attorney raised questions about the case against Michael Turpening, the former youth home director, facing 11 sex charges involving four teenagers. Okay. The allegations are all made from um, either convicted felons or convicted delinquents in the age of 17, 18, or 19 uh, in the system for some period of time. The state wants to terminate Michael Turpening's parental rights, saying his children aren't safe around him, even though none of the allegations involved his kids. I resent the, the accusation that these individuals, just because they are supposedly convicted felons or juvenile adjudicates, that their word is no good. They can be victims too. The allegations involve clients at Turpening's former Earth Services and the house next door, Barry County programs for troubled teens. Police say more charges might be on the way involving a fifth alleged victim. What I see is a man who is grooming um, these children and grooming those around him. Today, Turpening asked a Barry County judge to give him more time with his kids at the family's home. Right now, he's allowed only to see them through the Department of Human Services. There's no indication that the children are in any danger, <clears throat> have been, or will be in any danger. Now, the judge denied Turpening's request for more time with his kids, but the case to terminate his parental rights is still pending. Live in studio control, Ken Colker, 24-hour news 8.